Enveloped in the warm embrace of the Indian Ocean, a jewel sparkles amidst the azure waters. Mauritius. Glistening under the tropical sun, its white sandy beaches are a radiant contrast to the rich emerald tapestry of its verdant mountains and forests. This is a land that is as diverse as it is beautiful. Now, imagine a place where the air is filled with the sweet scent of vanilla and sugar cane, a melody of exotic bird songs echoing through the lush greenery. Welcome to Mauritius, a paradise that is as vibrant and colorful as the coral reefs that surround it. Let's journey back in time to the 18th century when this paradise was an uninhabited sanctuary. The Dutch were the first to set foot on this untouched land, followed by the French and then the British. Each left an indelible mark on the island, contributing to the rich cultural mosaic that is Mauritius today. Mauritius is not just a melting pot, but a finely woven tapestry of cultures. The island is home to a diverse population, where people of Indian, African, Chinese and European descent live together in harmony. This cultural fusion is evident in the Mauritian Creole language, a delightful blend of French, English, African and Asian dialects. The island's cultural diversity is also reflected in its gastronomy. The Mauritian kitchen is a delightful potpourri of flavors, from the spicy Indian curries, Chinese stir-fries, to the French-inspired seafood dishes, every meal is a celebration of Mauritius's multicultural heritage. But Mauritius is not just about the sun, sand and sea, it's also about the vast landscapes that invite exploration. Venture into the island's interior and you'll discover a world of natural wonders. The Black River Gorges National Park, a haven for endemic species, is a testament to the island's unique biodiversity. The Seven Colored Earths of Camaril, a geological phenomenon, is a spectacle of sand dunes displaying seven distinct colors. These are but a glimpse of the natural treasures that Mauritius boasts. As we draw this journey to a close, let's reflect on the essence of Mauritius. It's a tropical paradise that enchants with its natural beauty. It's an island with a rich, multicultural history reflected in its language, food and people. It's a land of unspoiled natural wonders that beckon for exploration. To truly understand Mauritius, one must experience it. It's not just a destination, but a sensation, a symphony of sights, sounds and tastes that create a melody as unforgettable as the island itself. From its azure waters to its verdant landscapes, from its cultural diversity to its historical richness, Mauritius is indeed a paradise unveiled. Imagine a world where the azure waves of the Indian Ocean lap against white sandy beaches, where lush green mountains reach for the sky, and where the air carries the scent of exotic spices and tropical fruits. Welcome to the tropical paradise that is Mauritius, an island nation that enchants with its stunning natural beauty and rich cultural tapestry. Mauritius is a unique gem in the Indian Ocean, located east of Madagascar. It is a realm of volcanic origin, with a landscape that dramatically shifts from pristine beaches and turquoise lagoons to rugged mountains and verdant forests. The island's coastal belt, adorned by coral reefs, is a sanctuary for a kaleidoscope of marine life, while the central plateau is dotted with remnants of its volcanic past. The coral reefs of Mauritius are not just a spectacle of vibrant colors and exotic marine life, they are a vital part of the island's ecosystem. They act as a natural barrier against the ocean's fury, protect the coastline from erosion, and serve as a breeding ground for a myriad of marine species. These underwater gardens, teeming with life, are a testament to the island's rich biodiversity. But Mauritius's allure extends beyond its captivating landscapes, it lies in its rich cultural mosaic. The island is home to a diverse population, a melting pot of Creole, Indo-Mauritian, Sino-Mauritian, and Franco-Mauritian communities. Each community has contributed to the cultural fabric of the island, infusing it with their traditions, languages, and cuisines. The result is a vibrant blend of cultures, where festivals of different religions are celebrated with equal fervor, where the aroma of curries, stir-fries, and French pastries waft from the same kitchen, and where the rhythms of Sega, Bhojpuri, and Chinese music fill the air. At the heart of Mauritius is the concept of multicultural harmony. It is a society where diverse cultures coexist, learn from each other, and contribute to a collective identity. This harmony is the essence of the Mauritian spirit, a testament to the island's history of migration and integration. In summary, Mauritius is a tropical paradise that captivates with its stunning natural landscapes, 
From pristine beaches and turquoise lagoons to rugged mountains and verdant forests, its coral reefs, teeming with vibrant marine life, are a testament to the island's rich biodiversity. But the heart of Mauritius lies in its cultural mosaic, a blend of Creole, Indo-Mauritian, Sino-Mauritian, and Franco-Mauritian communities. Their shared history, traditions, and cuisines shape the island's identity, making Mauritius a unique destination that offers more than just a tropical getaway. It offers a journey into a world where nature's beauty meets cultural richness, where every corner has a story to tell, and where the spirit of multicultural harmony reigns. Have you ever wondered how a small, isolated island nation in the Indian Ocean became a melting pot of cultures, languages, and biodiversity? Well, the history of Mauritius is a fascinating tale of colonial rule, independence, and the preservation of its unique flora and fauna. Today, we delve into this intriguing narrative. Our journey begins in the early 17th century when the Dutch, lured by the uninhabited island's ebony forests, became the first colonial power to claim sovereignty over Mauritius. Their reign, while brief, left an indelible mark on the island's biodiversity. It was during this period that the iconic dodo bird, unable to adapt to the invasive species brought by the settlers, tragically became extinct. The Dutch eventually abandoned Mauritius, leaving behind a landscape significantly altered by their presence. In the early 18th century, the French claimed the island, renaming it Ile de France. They cultivated sugar plantations, transforming the island's economy and landscape. The French also left a lasting cultural impact. Even today, French influence is evident in the Mauritian Creole language and the island's vibrant cuisine. The British took control in the early 19th century, renaming the island Mauritius once again. They continued the sugar plantation economy, bringing indentured laborers from India. This influx of Indian workers profoundly shaped the island's demographics, and their cultural, religious, and culinary traditions are integral to the Mauritian identity. A pivotal moment in Mauritius's history came in the mid-20th century. After nearly two centuries of British rule, the island nation achieved independence in 1968. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in the island's narrative, one of sovereignty and self-determination. Today, Mauritius is a thriving nation, known for its political stability, robust economy, and rich cultural diversity. However, the journey to this point has not been without challenges. The island has had to grapple with the environmental impact of centuries of human activity. Much of Mauritius's original forest cover has been lost to agriculture and urban development. The island's unique biodiversity has suffered, with many species becoming extinct or endangered. However, there is hope. Conservation efforts are underway to protect what remains of the island's unique flora and fauna. Nature reserves and parks, such as the Black River Gorges National Park, are sanctuaries for endangered species and ecosystems. To summarize, the history of Mauritius is a testament to the resilience of its people and the environment. From the colonial period, marked by the Dutch, French, and British reigns, to achieving independence in 1968, Mauritius has navigated a path of growth and development. The island's cultural diversity, shaped by its colonial past, is one of its greatest strengths. As for its unique biodiversity, efforts to protect and restore it offer hope for the future. This is the fascinating tale of Mauritius, an island nation with a rich history and a promising future. Ever pondered upon the mysteries of nature, the vibrant hues of Earth's canvas, the geological wonders that leave us in awe. Consider Chamarel, a small village nestled in the heart of Mauritius, harboring some of the world's most unique and captivating natural phenomena. Our journey begins with the Seven Colored Earths, a geological formation as fascinating as it is beautiful. Volcanic activity millions of years ago resulted in molten rock cooling at different rates, creating a palette of colors that range from red and brown to violet, blue and green. Over time, relentless wind and rain erosion sculpted these dunes into intricate patterns, a testament to the transformative power of nature. Just a stone's throw away lies the sweeping expanse of the Chamarel Plain. This fertile valley, rich in volcanic soil, is a testament to the island's fiery birth. It's a living canvas of verdant sugarcane fields and lush tropical forests, a stark contrast to the multi-hued dunes nearby. Cultural significance is etched into every corner of Chamarel, but nowhere is it more evident than at Grand Bassin, a sacred crater lake. Known to locals as Ganga Talao, 
It is a place of pilgrimage, where thousands gather each year to pay homage during the Maha Shivaratri festival. From the tranquility of Chamorel, we pivot to the pulsating heart of Mauritius, Port Louis. This capital city is a vibrant tapestry of cultures, where tradition meets modernity at every corner. Here bustling markets brim with spices, textiles and local crafts, each stall a story of the island's rich cultural heritage. Historical landmarks pepper the cityscape, standing as silent witnesses to a storied past. The Apravasi Ghat, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, echoes the voices of indentured laborers who arrived on the island in the 19th century. Perched high on a hill, Fort Adelaide, fondly known as La Citadelle, offers panoramic views of the city. Built by the British in the 19th century, it serves as a reminder of the island's colonial history. In summary, Mauritius is a land of contrasts, where natural wonders and urban life exist side by side. The vibrant dunes of Chamorel, the verdant Camarel Plain, and the sacred waters of Grand Bassin are testament to the island's rich geological and cultural history. Meanwhile, the bustling markets and historical landmarks of Port Louis reflect the fusion of tradition and modernity in Mauritian urban life. So whether you're fascinated by the mysteries of geological formations or intrigued by the tapestry of urban life, Mauritius has a tale to tell that is as rich and varied as the seven colored earths themselves. Imagine a symphony of flavors, a medley of cultures, and a vibrant palette of textures, all nestled in a single cuisine. Welcome to the world of Mauritian cuisine, where every bite tells a story, every dish is a celebration, and every meal is a journey through centuries of history. In the heart of the Indian Ocean, on the tropical island of Mauritius, a culinary tradition has evolved that is as diverse and colorful as the island's history. A plate of Mauritian food is like a map, tracing the island's rich heritage. The story begins with the indigenous people, whose diet was rich in fish, game, and tropical fruits. Then came the Dutch in the 17th century, introducing sugarcane which soon became a staple ingredient in Mauritian cooking. The French arrived next, bringing with them refined culinary techniques and a love for rich sauces, pastries, and confits. But the story doesn't end there. The 19th century saw an influx of laborers from India and China, each adding their unique flavors and cooking methods to the Mauritian pot. The Indians introduced spices, lentils, and flatbreads, giving birth to dishes like dol puri, a soft pancake filled with lentils and gâteau piment, spicy lentil cakes. Meanwhile, the Chinese added noodles, dumplings, and stir-fries into the mix, leading to creations like boulette shoshu, a dumpling soup made with chayote. Yet, Mauritian cuisine is more than just a fusion of flavors. It's a testament to the island's spirit of unity, a tradition of communal dining that brings people together. From the bustling food markets of Port Louis to the relaxed beachside barbecues, food is a shared experience, a chance to connect, and an expression of Mauritian joie de vivre. But the magic of Mauritius extends beyond its food. Venture east of the main island, and you'll discover Rodriguez Island, a hidden gem with its unique culture and breathtaking natural beauty. From its lush green valleys to its crystal clear lagoons, Rodriguez is a paradise for nature lovers. And don't forget the outer islands. Ile aux Cerfs, with its stunning beaches and water sports, is a haven for adventure seekers. And then there's Ile aux Aigret, a nature reserve dedicated to the conservation of Mauritius's unique flora and fauna. Yet, amid all this beauty, there's a commitment to preserving it. Sustainable tourism is a priority for Mauritius, with numerous initiatives aimed at protecting the environment, preserving cultural heritage and promoting local communities. To sum it up, Mauritian cuisine is a journey through time, a fusion of cultures and a celebration of unity. And the islands? They're a testament to the beauty of nature, the power of preservation and the joy of discovery. So, whether you're a food lover, a nature enthusiast, or a history buff, Mauritius has something to offer you. There's a saying in Mauritius, the way to the heart is through the stomach. And with its rich culinary tradition and stunning islands, Mauritius is sure to win your heart. One bite and one breathtaking view at a time. the power of language, how it shapes our thoughts, our perceptions, our identities. Language in its myriad forms 
is the tapestry that weaves together the diverse threads of our cultural fabric. Now imagine a place where the air is filled with a melange of languages, where the symphony of sounds reflects the rich tapestry of its people. Welcome to Mauritius, a small island nation off the southeast coast of Africa, a linguistic paradise where English, French, Creole and a host of Asian languages coexist, painting a vibrant picture of the country's cultural diversity. In Mauritius, the official language is English, a vestige of British colonial rule. Yet, French also holds a strong influence, a legacy of the French colonial period. Both languages are taught in schools and used in the media, government and business sectors. But the heart of Mauritian language lies in its Creole, a unique blend of French, African Malagasy and Asian influences. Creole is the mother tongue of most Mauritians, a language that transcends social and ethnic boundaries, a testament to the nation's multicultural heritage. Then we have the Asian languages, brought to the island by indentured labourers from India, China and other parts of Asia. Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Urdu and Mandarin, among others, are spoken by different communities, preserving their cultural roots. Language, in essence, is a mirror of Mauritius's cultural diversity, each one preserving its own unique identity while contributing to the overall Mauritian identity. Switching gears, let's delve into the tourism sector in Mauritius, a pillar of the country's economy. The island's turquoise waters, pristine beaches, luxury resorts and vibrant cultural experiences beckon tourists from around the globe. Tourism has experienced significant growth in Mauritius, with the sector contributing significantly to the country's GDP. This growth has spurred a wave of economic development, creating jobs, boosting local businesses and driving infrastructure development. Yet with growth comes responsibility. Mauritius is balancing its economic development with environmental conservation, striving to protect its stunning natural beauty for future generations. In summary, language in Mauritius is more than just a means of communication. It's a reflection of the country's cultural diversity, a preservation of its rich heritage. And as tourism continues to grow, it brings forth new opportunities and challenges, shaping the future of this island paradise. So, whether you're fascinated by the power of language or drawn by the island's allure, Mauritius presents a compelling tale of cultural diversity and economic growth. A tale that's waiting for you to discover. Imagine a place where music and dance are not merely forms of entertainment, but the very heartbeat of a nation. A place where vibrant festivals filled with color and tradition paint an enchanting picture of cultural richness. Welcome to Mauritius, a small island nation in the Indian Ocean teeming with life and pulsating with rhythm. In Mauritius, music and dance are deeply woven into the fabric of everyday life. The nation's traditional music, known as Sega, is a rich tapestry of African rhythm, European melody, and Creole soul. The beat of the Ravan, a traditional Mauritian drum, echoes the pulse of the island's diverse heritage, while the twang of the Maravan, a type of rattle, adds a unique layer to this melting pot of sound. Dance, too, is a vital part of Mauritian culture. The Sega dance, with its hypnotic movements, tells tales of love, joy, and the struggle of the island's ancestors. Each step, each sway, is a testament to the resilience and spirit of the Mauritian people. Festivals in Mauritius are kaleidoscopes of sound, color, and emotion. Take, for example, Cavity, a festival of penitence and purification, where devotees carry ornately decorated wooden structures called Kavadi as an act of devotion or Tai Pusam, a festival dedicated to the Hindu god Muruga, where the air is thick with the scent of incense and the sound of prayers. But Mauritius is more than just its music, dance and festivals. It's a land of enchanting beauty, from the pristine beaches of Ile aux Cerfs to the lush greenery of Pamplemousse's botanical garden. The island's natural charm is matched only by the warmth of its people, who welcome visitors with open arms and a friendly smile. When planning a trip to Mauritius, it's important to remember a few things. First, check the visa requirements for your country. Second, keep in mind that while public transportation is available, renting a car can give you more freedom to explore. And finally, respect the culture and customs of the island. Mauritian etiquette is a blend of European manners and Asian respect, so a polite demeanor will go a long way. 
In Mauritius, every corner of the island holds a new adventure. Take a trip to Chamarel, a village known for its seven-colored earth, a natural phenomenon resulting from the cooling of volcanic rocks. Or spend a day in Port Louis, the capital, where the lively market offers a taste of local life. So embark on a journey to Mauritius, where the rhythm of music and dance, the vibrancy of festivals and the enchanting beauty of the island create a symphony of experiences that will stay with you long after your visit ends. Here in this island paradise, you'll discover a cultural richness that is as breathtaking as the views. So pack your bags and set your compass to Mauritius, the island where every bite, every step, and every festival is a celebration of life. Have you ever wondered what it feels like to step into a living, breathing paradise? A place where the landscapes weave a tale of beauty so divine, it's almost surreal. Welcome to Mauritius. Imagine for a moment, a place where the azure waters meet the sky at a blurred horizon. The sun, a golden orb, casting a warm glow over the sandy beaches, as the palm trees sway gently in the balmy breeze. This is not a figment of your imagination, but the enchanting reality of Mauritius's paradise-like landscapes. Yet, the beauty of this island nation is not just in its picturesque landscapes, it's in the vibrant cultural tapestry that is woven by its people. Mauritius is a melting pot of cultures, a symphony of diversity that can be seen, heard and tasted. In Mauritius, you will hear the soothing strains of Sega music, a traditional genre that tells the tale of the island's African roots. You will taste the intricate flavors of Creole cuisine, a culinary tradition that is a testament to the island's multicultural heritage. You will witness the vibrant spectacle of the Cavadi Festival, a Tamil tradition that is celebrated with much fervor and enthusiasm. The history of Mauritius is as diverse as its people, from the remnants of the Dutch, French and British colonial eras, to the stories of the Indo-Mauritians and Franco-Mauritians, every corner of this island whispers a tale from the past. The vibrant traditions of Mauritius are not just a reflection of its cultural diversity, but also a testament to the resilience and unity of its people. But Mauritius is not just about its past, it's about the present and the future. It's about the innovative spirit of its people, who are constantly striving to create a better tomorrow. It's about the commitment to sustainability, as seen in the efforts to protect the island's unique biodiversity. It's about the fusion of the old and the new, the traditional and the modern, the local and the global. As we come to the end of our journey, we leave you with a montage of images that capture the essence of Mauritius, the paradise-like landscapes that beckon with their beauty, the cultural diversity that resonates in every corner of the island, the vibrant traditions that are passed on from generation to generation. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Mauritius, a paradise island where nature, culture and history converge to create a truly unique and enchanting experience. In Mauritius, every moment is a memory, every sight a spectacle, and every sound a symphony. Welcome to paradise, welcome to Mauritius.